Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my live videos, uh, Manchester United just seen Licking Beat and Everton Fornal. Sorry I just went on live stream but um, I've got to do with some recorders, currently my uh, internet is playing up and it is um, on a very very um, bad connection so I do apologise for this. So this review I'm going to be doing is currently be going to be on video record for you guys to uh, currently see. So Manchester United just think of be an Everton 4-0. What a fantastic result now, you know. It's 4-0 against West Ham, 4-0 against Swansea, you know, 2-0 against Leicester, 2 all against Stoke and 3-0 against Basel. So that's 19 goals all in all in all competitions and only two goals conceded, um, which is um, fantastic news as well. And we say, as I did say, you know, the goals were from uh, Valencia's first goal this season, um, uh, the second was from Mkhitaryan, the third was from Lukaku and the fourth was from Martial from the uh, penalty spot. The assist was from, uh, the first goal was from Matic, the second goal was from uh, Lukaku who got the assist from Mkhitaryan. The third goal was a bit of a scramble so we'll go into that a bit more and the fourth goal was from the penalty spot from um, Martial as I did currently say. So we know Everton, you know, spent a lot of money in the um, August window, you know, they spent uh, quite a lot of money, you know, we know they haven't had the uh, best of starts to the um, current um, season because they have had uh, tough fixtures, but we now know um, uh, Koeman before this game was unbeaten in three games against uh, Manchester United, uh, we know now uh, Romelu Lukaku has a... Um, Scored 90 goals now in the Premier League after after he scored 25 goals for um, Everton last season, which was a uh, very very good. And now Lukaku's got his six goals, six goal in all competitions for Manchester United. Martial's got his third goal, I think, um, this season. Mkhitaryan's provided a lot of assists for Manchester United as well this season. Plus, getting on his name on the score sheet today as well was um, absolutely um, fantastic. But from Everton, you know, I did say they'd uh, spent a lot of money. I said they've struggled in the. Uh, Previous games, we know we saw Lukaku versus his old team. We saw Ray Muni versus his old team. It was a fantastic for Manchester United. So he did get a good reception after 13 years at the club, winning every single domestic cup. Made his retirement from England uh, about three or four weeks ago, and uh, the all-time top goal scorer, 253 goals, and uh, he's got two about 200 Premier League goals now as um, Wayne Muni. You know, Jose Mourinho stick as he usually has stuck with uh, this season. He went with a four to a. Uh, Three one formation as he has done. Uh, he went with De Gea, he went with Valencia, he went with Bailey and Jones who have complemented each other fantastically well this season. Apart from the Stoke game, um, he went with Ashley Young on the uh, Ashley Young who was absolutely phenomenal against uh, Basel. I think he went with Matt. What? All right. He went with, uh, who was it, Matic and Fellaini in midfield. Obviously, we know it's been interesting to see how the midfield would be affected now that Pogba's out and he could be out for 12 uh, weeks. So he went with Matic and Fellaini in midfield. I thought Fellaini had a fantastic game against um, Basel um, as well. He scored... Uh, he hasn't. He, this was his first game. Well, initially that he'd started from the start um, today as well with Fellaini. Uh, he went with Rashford on the left, Mkhitaryan in the middle, uh, Matt on the right, and Romelu Lukaku up front. So we're getting to the game. Manchester United won four by four goals to nil against Everton today, and this is now uh, twenty five games at home against Everton. Won nineteen and only lost one against Everton, and the rest would have uh, been dropped. So we're getting to the game. Uh, Manchester United currently uh, took the lead uh, in the fourth minute uh, through Antonio Valencia. It was a uh, Ashley only. Passed it to Matic. Matic had played a love, lovely through ball to Valencia, and Valencia hit it first time straight on the volley, straight into the top corner, just from the edge of the box. And what a fantastic goal it was! The accuracy, the accuracy of the shot and everything was absolutely sublime, and that put us up one 0 And then after that, we was very convinced. You know, we was passing the ball together. You know, we was getting in dangerous positions. You know, we was creating very, very uh, fantastically well. But there wasn't many chances after the goal uh, from uh, from Valencia. To be quite honest, we in that period. And then after that, you know, in the first ten minutes, Man United was so dominant in the game Everton couldn't, couldn't really get a foothold in the game but I think after that 10 minute period Everton started going to the game I thought Sigerson was creating I thought Rooney looked dangerous I thought the youngster for them Tom Davis was doing very very well as well and at Everton you know were creating um, uh, quite a few opportunities there was an opportunity um, from Wayne Mooney from across Wayne Mooney had just uh, headed the ball wide and then after that Everton had uh, had a glorious chance to get uh, get an equaliser it was a cross it was a, a cross. Uh, Tom Davis had headed the ball and it had to produce a world class save from um, David De Gea to keep us in the game. And David De Gea had to make a few world class saves uh, to keep us in the game. Uh, uh, to keep us in the game, and then after that, you know, Manchester United did have a, a fan. Uh, Matic did play well as well. I thought Fellaini did okay. 
uh, had a fantastic chance for Lukaku. Uh, Rashford also had a few uh, wasteful opportunities as well that he could have done better with, I'm going to be quite honest with you. Romelu Lukaku had had a chance. It was the defensive error uh, from Everton at the back. Matt received the ball. He passed it to Lukaku. Lukaku was clean on goal, but um, he just put the shot wide and he could have uh, got his name on the score sheet uh, with that chance um, as well. And it just went wide of the um, post. And then basically then Everton were putting pressure on, you know, they, they did receive um, a lot of the ball uh, in the peri- in large periods of the uh, first half. They had a few decent um, opportunities, did um, Everton, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. And then uh, it came to half-time, it was um, 1-0. And then in the second half, you know, also Wayne Mooney, you know, had a glorious chance to, you know, to score at um, Old Trafford in an Everton shirt. You know, right at the start of the second half, Mooney had a, a fantastic um, opportunity. I think it was very, very good work on the right-hand side between Don Tom Davis and Wayne Mooney Lincoln. You know, Tom Davis has found Mooney in the box and Ray Mooney should have scored and he hit it straight at David um, De Gea um, as well. And then after that, Ray Mooney had also another um, decent um, opportunity. Uh, I couldn't remember what happened, but Rooney had another decent opportunity and it had to produce another world-class save from um, David De Gea as well. So Rooney had three glorious um, opportunities to get his uh, name on the score sheet. Um, Old Trafford did it, but it um, didn't um, currently uh, proceed. And then... Um, And in large portions of the second half, you know, Everton were actually dominating. I thought, you know, in large portions of the second half, you know, Manchester United and Everton, you know, they were both fighting for it. You know, they were both going for the uh, victory. And Manchester United was still 1-0 up uh, at the time. Mourinho had made a sub. I think he'd brought Lingard on that. I think Lingard looked very, very uh, promising when he came on the pitch as well. Lingard had a couple of opportunities, but I think uh, there were two uh, wasteful um, opportunities uh, from Lingard. There were one scene where I think... Lingard got into the box and he got fouled and there were talks that um, should have been a penalty. I did look at the replay. To me, that was a penalty uh, when Lingard had uh, got um, fouled in the box. Also, Matic has added a decent um, opportunity as well, which uh, just um, glanced glanced wide in the situation with that. And um, and also, uh, there was a defensive mistake from Everton um, at the back. Um, Mata had received the ball. Uh, Mata could have, he had options. He could have passed to Lukaku. But Mata decided to try and take on himself. Got fouled at the edge of the box. Uh, the free kick had been taken. I think it was Mata who took it. And it had currently just uh, hit the post or the keeper had saved it um, onto the post uh, from the free kick as well. So that was another fantastic chance from uh, Manchester United. So it wasn't uh, the best uh, performance uh, by all means. David Hay had quite a bit to do. You know, had to make um, a few world class saves. Valencia played well. I thought Ashley Young did uh, play quite well um, as well. Fellaini played okay. Rashford wasn't his best performance, but uh, he had a few wasteful um, opportunities. Lukaku played well. He had a few decent um, chances as well. Mkhitaryan uh, did play well. And um, yeah, and uh, the th- I like it. We like the Swansea game, you know, three goals in a quick succession, you know, and uh, we finally uh, killed Everton off with a second goal. It was, uh, I think it was a defensive mistake, if I'm right. Lukaku received the ball, Lukaku passed it to Mkhitaryan, found him in the middle and side-footed it calmly past um, J- uh, Pickford in Everton's goal and that made it 2-0. Then we was uh, on the way to a victory. And then we got a third um, in succession um, as well, which was uh, very, very um, good as well. Um, it was a free kick, uh, this, I think, it was, yeah, free kick. Lukaku had took the free kick, it had been blocked, uh, but we continued the attack. Lingard, Lingard, I think, had flicked the ball uh, into the box from across, and Lukaku got on the end of it and made it uh, currently um, 3 0. And then basically after that, as we know, Martial was um, on the pitch. Uh, Man United had got a penalty right near the end. I think it was something to do with a handball, if I can remember rightly. Uh, the penalty was taken by um, Martial and he finished it uh, calm and composed, finished to make it 4-0 and finish Everton off. So it was three goals in quick succession, but uh, Everton had periods where they did dominate the game, they dominated the possession. They had a few early chances, one right at the end um, as well when we went 4 up. I think it was a long range effort and David De Gea uh, tipped it um, over the uh, bar um, as well. But uh, overall, you know, it wasn't the best performance, um, but it was a fantastic, comfortable win in the end, you know, by four goals. You know, you know we've had four nils at home, three nil against Basel on Tuesday night. So it's very, very um, good, is this? It's uh, very, very um, good. And it's good to see Romelu Lukaku score against his um, old team. Very, very good to see. And, uh, yeah, so we've now got Martial coming off the bench again to get his name on score. That's his third goal. Rashford scored three goals this season, you know. You know, you've got time that's provided about five or six assists. Also got his name on the score sheet today. Romelu Lukaku, six goal this season. You know, you've got Valencia scoring his first goal this season. We also saw Bailey getting his first goal ever for the club against Swansea. 
Um, so this team is looking well and gelling uh, well together. Uh, and I think it's going to be between United and City because I think you know, we've got a fantastic squad. There's still areas we do need to improve in. And the Pogba is going to be a really, really uh, bad miss. Um, you could tell in the midfield in parts of the game where we're, la we're lacking Paul Pogba, you know, in uh, that midfield uh, position. Um, but yeah, 4-0 uh, victory, uh, can't complain, uh, very, very um, good um, in the end. Matt, as I said, um, hit the post um, as well, he could have scored from that uh, free kick. Um, and Ray Mooney, I think, was their most elite player. He had, a, he had two two or three clear-cut chances for him, uh, to try and get his name on the score sheet, Ray Mooney. I thought Tom Davis looked slightly. I thought Sigerson played well for Everton as well, if I'm going to be quite honest. I thought a few Everton players did put a good shift in, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. But... Uh, in the end, Man United uh, had got the three points, so very, very good. Anyway, guys, it's something to do today. Enjoy your comments, likes below on the channel. Tell me what you think today's game, and, and uh, I'll see you later. And take it easy and subscribe. Bye.